So really it was the start of this, because I remember that. <laughs> You know, and then bush region grew from the cultural walk because what do you have to do to get that? They've helped to plant that seed by giving us that first funding. And, you know, from that one talk where we sat here in the park here talking about it, this whole thing has grew. The fact that, uh, you know, introduced uh, old methods such as uh, traditional fire burning, community got involved, um, there was consensus, you know, there from everybody about um, the walk and, and um, you know, how it should be established. I think it's just it's just one of those things that really um, not only embeds culture within our communities, but also within, within the wider community. to the south yeah. and then the southerly change came in and everyone evacuated and was at the school uh, the, the next morning uh, the whole community evacuated except for the quarries and some others who chose to stay um, we were without power or um, data for, for nine days so for the first few days people in town didn't even know if we were alive or not out here because there was no communication when that rain, that flush of rain came and it washed off all the ash and the yeah. brittle, brittle burnt country and nitrates into the river and we had 60 kilometres of dead fish yeah. on both sides of the river. The river, I've been testing, I've been doing water sampling for since 2013 and the, the, it was like tar. Mm. Right? We had a pump, RFS set up a pump and um, so we were pumping water out of the river and just hosing it back into the river yeah. and to oxygenate the water yeah, yeah. and the fish were just like you could yeah. you could see the place rising with fish just where that oxygen was because yeah. they were gasping when we talk about culture and what it means to our people um, you know establishing walks like this sort of brings it home it sort of establishes uh, what we as Aboriginal people are all about this represents the drought there's the creeks and the rivers drying up and the water holes shrinking um, then the bushfires, and then the fish kill, and then COVID. Oh. <laughs> you left out flood and landslides. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was before the flood and landslides. Yeah. yeah. So just um, that was a that was a great little project with the kids, and um, just have a yarn about it, you know, because when you put it like that, drought, fire, fish kills, COVID. It's just like, man, we've taken a hammering in the last few years. But look how resilient this community's become. Welcome here to build with the Tangari community. Um, original name for it is Upu Mahanya Tinan. Yes, travelling star. One thing, of, one thing about this, I can say, like, uh, it looks good now, but the views would have came here when we first started, you couldn't see none of that. Yeah. Like all the water and everything was blocked out from this weed and... Yeah, everything was here, eh? Nulla Nulla Creek was made by a Dreamtime porcupine, and yeah, every time it stopped and rested, it dug. So that's all the hole, the deep holes in there. And every time it rested, it got speed, so it would come up out of there and go and dig somewhere else. So that's how it got us quills too. Because it is very significant to all of our people, because their story is told about if you get some of the old people come from Kempsey, they'll bring their own bottles of water. Because if you drink the water here, you always come back, you know. And that's that's in the story. So the old people was like, "Oh no, I'm not going back there." So they bring their own water. <laughs> <laughs> we got all native trees and all that, but one thing what we wanted was more bush tucker trees, and like um, that's what a lot of nurseries lack. I think it's very important for the younger generation to um, experience that and 
where they live, the cultural walk, to experience the language, the stories, what, they, um, what the young fellas here, here do, and, that, and the privilege of having the opportunity to do that in their own country is unreal. start like the other organisations with that initial you know um, emergency response and helping replace you know but I think a lot of people think that once that's done it ends but recovery is a long-term thing so I, I'm really kind of proud that Vinny's a you know a kind of supporting community on that longer journey of you know recovery they're owning their own recovery we're just supporting you know we're not giving guidance or you know they're telling us this is you know our direction we want to take. I think working collaboratively with organisations is key with communities. Yeah, then listen to the community's voice and then adapting the program to the, what the community needs. St Vincent de Paul, um, one of our, well, we'll call it a motto, is to give people a hand up, not a hand out. And this, when you look at it and experience what we've done today, it certainly, um, we, we had a little part of it, but it made a big difference to this community. And just watching Arthur um, and Kenneth speak about what the program is and, and all the, the folk that attended today, it um, really just... Um, it's just a brilliant outcome for a community grant program. Previously the view of that country, of that particular piece of land was that it was dangerous to community, that it had been long um, neglected and now that it's being worked on, now that it's been cleared, um, weeds have uh, not eradicated but controlled to some degree and they walking trails in that can also double as um, fire breaks or, or um, containment lines for doing, for doing cultural burning. Um, it, it's uh, going to turn. It's going to turn into what was a threat to the community is now going to become an asset to the community, and that's what building resilience is about. And that's what Vinny's intention was in supporting us is to build resilience post the um, the bushfire crisis. Yeah, I think we're growing in in that in that strength, and you know, thanks for the opportunity, Vinny's. <laughs>